Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is me, your homegirl, LaDosha Wright, the author of Curly Hair Adventures and what they don't tell you at the hair salon. I will. I'm also the founder of Texas Intercultural Exchange to benefit the education of cosmetology in the Banjul Gambia. So today we're going to kick the ballistics about coloring your hair. So in our previous video, we talked a lot about how to cover, you know, gray hair and what's the best way. So this video is specifically focused on coloring gray hair. So um, one of the things you want to do is you have to determine your percentage of gray. So we have a little swatch indicator that you can use. Now, uh, this is typically for licensed professionals, but everything is sold on YouTube. Everything is sold on Amazon. So you can buy this yourself if you want to. So you need to determine, are you more like 90% uh, gray, 50% gray, or you're just having a little bit of gray, okay? And so we kind of use this swatch to find out the percentage. So as we can see, as we move this around her hair, she is definitely blending in with this one if we go up top. So she is what we would call like, a, she's over 75% gray. So here's what they don't tell you at the hair salon when it comes to coloring and covering gray hair. It's number one, you have to use a color line that's specifically formulated to cover the gray hair. If you're using hair color, that does not say it gives you 100% gray coverage. I guarantee you, you're gonna end up with something like this, where she has her gray hair, then she has the underlying pigment, which is a brassy yellow of the other color, and then she has the black. Now, in the previous video, she said she did not like this black hair. Now, to preserve the integrity of her hair as a master colorist, I would not remove this simply because it's going to compromise the integrity of the rest of her hair. And the only way you can remove this is to use a powder lightener because she has not been using permanent color. So what has she been using? Da -da -da -da! this stuff right here okay so now my mantra when it comes to hair care products and styling tools if it works use it okay in this instance this is not working so i understand that there are a lot of hairstylists who love this is by miss claros and this is her beautiful brown collection and so this um, color line is this is actually saying that it is um, advanced gray solution but here's what they don't tell you at the hair salon is number one this her hair is straightened out this is a silk press so she does not have um, a relaxer on the hair which acts as like a pre softener and relaxed hair also swells the cuticle so when you have your hair relaxed the cuticle has a tendency to be open, correct? And so when you pour these products onto the hair, they stain and they will typically cover it because of the formulation that the manufacturer created. However, this is not relaxed hair. This is um, um, Afro wavy hair with no chemical on it, and it's her, and it, it, so it's not altered. So when you go to use this type of product on an Afro or wavy or Afro wavy hair, be it fine, be it medium, be it really thick, you're going to end up with a wash off like this. And that's because this color line, the color is formulated for the molecules to sit on top of the hair. And so what's going to happen is every time she washes her hair, guess what? She's going to get the underlying pigment, which is what we see. I'm going to bring the camera closer so you guys can see that this is really not the best hair color. So there it is. You see it. So she's got her natural gray, and then she has this brass, which is from the underlying pigment. And so this is typically what happens when we go to use what's called rinses on the hair, which I am not a big fan of rinses. Now rinses, they come in different forms. So you have um, this one here. Rinses are technically called um, semi-permanent color. So look at hair coloring like you look at 
cars, you know, you have, um, all automobiles will get you downtown. The question is, how do you want to arrive, okay? So if you're trying to get 100% great coverage, you're trying to get there in style. So this would be the equivalent um, of like uh, a Ford Escort, okay? So that would be your semi. Your demi is when you're gonna use a color that has an actual developer. So demi has color in the tube, and then it has a developer. It may or may not have ammonia, and ammonia is the, uh, the popular ingredient that's used to swell the cuticle so the artificial pigment can go in and give you a new color, okay? So this one would be like the equivalent of a Cadillac, okay? So next up, you have your permanent permanent hair color. So permanent hair coloring would be the equivalent of like having a Mercedes or a BMW because this color will swell the cuticle a lot more and it will allow the artificial pigments to go in and really either cancel out or complement your natural underlying pigment. So in her instance, I am going to recommend that you use a permanent color. Now I know what people are saying. A permanent color is so hard. So what types of things have you heard about permanent hair coloring? Well, I've heard that it will break your hair. So she heard that permanent color will break your hair. Um, I heard that, um, uh, that it's not, it's, that is like really harsh for your hair. So these are the things I hear this every single day because um, I color hair like, like um, every day I color hair in my career. I'm always coloring hair. So these are the things that I hear the most is that it's damaging and that hair coloring, you know, is very harsh. So let me be the first to say that that would depend on the quality of hair coloring, number one. And then number two, it is definitely, definitely, definitely going to be on your licensed professional. So if you have a hairstylist who is a colorist, Guys, please, please, please make sure that your colorist is certified. We're not talking about somebody who went to a class and you know sat back there and watched. No, you want your colorist to have been tested, tried, true, tested, tried, true, tested. We're talking about throughout their entire career. You don't want someone who has hair coloring knowledge from like 2000 and. 15. It's 2019. So hair color has science just like cell phones. By the time you get the science, guess what? They're off to some new stuff, okay? So I am a Formisi certified master colorist, but I take hair coloring classes from all different types of professionals and different types of colors. And yes, for the most part, I, I still love for me see the most, but I receive my education um, from different companies. So it is imperative that you have a colorist who is certified. That's just my personal preference. So for her, I'm going to recommend that we use a professional line of color. She does not want to go back to black hair. Um, but we can't remove this off of her hair. So what I'm going to do, because nowadays you can be creative. Now back in the day, this would never be, you know, so that they have these new terms like ombre and balayage and, you know, hair painting and all this cool stuff that you can do when you have faux pas like this. So what I'm going to do is take her to a really deep, rich, woodsy auburn. So her regrowth is going to be like a really deep, deep, um, not as dark as this, but like a really deep brown, like a red brown, and it'll complement this black as it blends in. That way we do not have to try to remove this off of our hair. Um, I would not use a semi or a demi. I wouldn't use a demi because Demi's will work best on relaxed hair. In her instance, because it will be a little bit softer. So you do have Demi's that can really, you know, deposit some really powerful colors. But her hair um, is pretty softened because it's flat ironed out. But her um, 
her texture is a little bit more um, grainier. And so Demi Permanence, they have a tendency to really, you know, deposit onto a texture that's a, a, a little bit softer. And then the gray coverage would be a lot better. Um, we definitely do a strand test to make sure, a patch test, to make sure that your guests are not allergic. Um, she had black in her hair, and so what happened when, that, when the color is used to black on your hair? Um, I start, it started itching. I started itching, and I had very, very bad dandruff. So she said she got the black color in her hair. She was really okay with it, but the problem was is that she was having an allergic reaction to the color. And that's why it's key to do a strand test and talk to your guests about the reaction that they've had. Um, so we're not quite sure what could have been in the color that she was allergic to, but she said they tried it several times and on all, all occasions you continue to itch correct. Right. So she did go home. Um, and she said she tried, she actually did use this um, on herself at home. This is, again, a semi uh, color, and this is by the wonderful company, um, Clairol's Beautiful Brown Collection. So again, I don't like to knock hair care products. So she didn't have a reaction. However, she didn't get the results that she wanted. So what I'm going to use is... Um, I'm going to use uh, Schwarzkopf. So I like Schwarzkopf. Now this is a Ladosha, you know, opinion. So you just gotta kind of roll with me. Don't roll with the cops, just roll past here. So um, I'm going to use Schwarzkopf um, on her hair color, on her hair, because I find that Schwarzkopf really makes the best brunettes. So when it comes to really dark, rich, woodsy, you know, 100% gray coverage, I love Schwarzkopf. Um, I like Fermisi for their vibrant coppers and reds and blondes. And they do, they really make wonderful, um, you know, uh, brunettes and definitely some great auburns. But for her, and we show her an array of colors, and so she actually liked, you know, the Igora, the, um, the, the, the auburn. So we're gonna pick the one that she likes. And so I agree, I think that that's gonna come out a lot better. I'm gonna show some some pictures of her hair and, and, and add them to the end of the video so that you can see. So just to recap, when it comes to coloring your hair, number one, make sure you're using products that are formulated for your hair um, color and your hair type, the condition of your hair, that's number one. Number two, if you're going to have a licensed professional or a licensed colorist, you know, color your hair, please make sure that your person is certified in coloring because this knowledge, it's not that it's complicated, but you know, we like Erica Badu. You know, we are honest and we serious about our ish, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you get a person who's very passionate, very versatile, and well connected into the family, the culture of colorists as opposed to someone who's just rogue out here watching these YouTube channels, you know, you don't want a YouTube colorist, okay? YouTubes are great for these types of interactions, but YouTube cannot replace education. YouTubes cannot place supervision. YouTube cannot replace accountability. YouTube cannot replace help, okay? So when you partner, when your colorist or your cosmetologist has partnered with the company, you get the help. And that's like the number one reason why I love Formisi, shameless plug, but Formisi is like, when I tell you the tech support on them is like 24 seven, I'm telling you this company, they got your back as a colorist. So if you're new to the profession of hair coloring, if you're new to the game of hair coloring, whatever you wanna call it, the life, you bought that color life, you know, get with companies, get with professionals, partner with these people who will be there for you and make sure that your colorist is connected to these types of people. Um, you have about four different types of coloring. You have your semi, okay? Uh, you have your demi, so you have the color in the tube, you have a developer, and then last but not least, 
you have your permanent, which also is in a tube and it also has a developer. The difference, by the way, between a demi and a, uh, um, uh, a permanent color would be the ammonia. And so there are professional um, lines of permanent color that does not have ammonia, and Schwarzkopf would be one of them, Aveda. I mean, there are so many, um, L'Oreal. Um, there are many, many lines of color that do not use ammonia um, to help swell the cuticle so that you can, you know, work some magic onto the hair. So um, there you have it. Your responsibility with your coloring to protect your investment is to make sure you're using hair care products that are formulated for color treated hair to make sure you're not washing away the color, okay? So there you have it. If you are interested in learning a lot more about your hair on a personal level, get off of YouTube, click this channel off, and go buy my book. I will put this in the link. This is what they don't tell you at the hair salon. And my book um, is to let you know that hair is not as black and white as they would like for you to believe. It is also how you can learn how to properly care for textured hair. And then you're going to also discover the connection between health and hair. So that's what my book is all about. I call it the FUBU of hair care, you know. It's written by us for us. So if you are a cosmetologist, if you are a person who has textured hair and you're just tired of watching these YouTube videos and you're tired of reading those articles by columnists who really don't know that much about textured hair, um, this is going to take it on a whole nother level, okay? So thank you so much. We're talking about a whole lot of peace, a whole lot of love, and then definitely you know more hair and if you ain't got no hair you know then rub your bald head and um thank you guys so much please uh, hit that subscribe button you know what i'm talking about um don't forget to share this video and i do appreciate your support immensely